So today I'm here to talk about Mr. Gary Anderson, former two-time world champion, but at the moment slipping down the order of merit. What does he need to do in order to get back to the top of the world of darts? Now, of course, Anderson was world champion two years running, 2015 and 2016, but since then hasn't really hit the heights that maybe you would expect him to hit. Now, what is this down to? Some would say motivation. Some will say he's achieved what he wanted to achieve in darts. But you look at the natural talent that Gary Anderson's got and really he should be producing more. He was a world championship runner-up just two years ago at the Alexandra Palace, but that did come after a pretty poor year of results. You look at you look at down the, the match play and the Grand Prix and lots of the PDC majors really, and there aren't many semi-finals finals over the last three years. And I think that probably comes down to a little bit of lack of motivation for Gary Anderson. But when he turns up at the World Championship, motivation is certainly there. And that's where we see the best of the Flying Scotsman. Now, Gary's now in his 50s, obviously. He's achieved being a world champion. Many people have him in the top 10 greatest darts players of all time but slipping to number 22 in the rankings is a real problem for him and a problem in terms of getting in these major events that he's so used to being in. He's always been in the World Match Play, the World Grand Prix, even the, the Grand Slam of Darts which he says is his favourite tournament on the calendar. He didn't make the Grand Slam of Darts this year and that's because he didn't want to turn up to the um, qualifiers and unfortunately that means he wouldn't be in the Grand Slam of Darts. Now, if he wants to be in big events like the match play in the Grand Prix, he's going to need to do some serious work over the next four or five months. And if he is going to find himself back in these major tournaments once again, he's going to need to attend these players' championships and these European tours. I haven't seen him on the European tour for five or six years now, and we spoke to him and he said that he doesn't want to be at those sort of events, but if he wants to be in the match play in the Grand Prix, he's going to have to be. Now they are a hard slog, there's 30 players championship events a season, 13 European tours, which in his position in number 22 in the rankings he would need to qualify for. And they're not going to be easy draws either, being in that position and being where he is in the pro tour world of merit means that he's going to draw some of the big names early on, but he's definitely got the game. And if the motivation is there, he can produce the same as any of these top players. There's no doubt in my mind at all that if he plays his best darts, he's up there with the Michael Van Gerwens, the Gerwin Prices, and obviously the Michael Smiths of the world. He's still got the A game there. We've seen it on the Players' Championship circuit, and we've seen it very occasionally, it would have to be said, over the last couple of years on the TV as well. Now, with no distraction like Premier League uh, or World Series, um, probably doubtful that he'll be playing the World Cup of Darts. There may be a little bit more time in the calendar to attend things like European Tour qualifiers. Obviously, that's down to Gary now. But with some gaps in the calendar, with the lack of Premier League on Thursday night, there may be that extra 10% chance that we see Gary Anderson turn up to a European Tour qualifier. You never know. Now, one thing when it comes to Gary Anderson that we have to talk about is practice. He's never been the biggest practiser. Some of the best players in the world haven't been biggest practicers. But if he wants to refine the form, then practice is going to be key. You know, we know he practices with Ryan Searle, who's from the same area of the world as him. A very capable player himself, a former TV finalist. And that time on the practice board for Gary and Ryan is going to be invaluable. They need to be getting in a few hours a week, really, in order for them both to be polished, especially Gary, and be ready for these these events. Because a, a, a good start to the season on the Players' Championship really will set him up well for the year. We're lucky enough to speak to Gary at the World Championships after his first round, second round win, sorry, over Madders Rasma, and here's what he had to say about his practice with Ryan Searle. And Phil Taylor and Michael Van Gerwen, they're the only players to have won three PDC World titles. Do you believe you can still join that group this year? Don't know about this year. Mm. You know, my game's not even close to what it should be, but uh, I keep trying and practicing a heck of a lot more. You know, I'm, I'm playing a lot more with, with Ryan, who's uh, he's coming on leaps and bounds, you know, fantastically. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's like I've kind of got my head next year, start again from scratch, get back to the pub, play with the boys, you know, just get myself away from the house and start throwing again. Whether it happens or not, I can't actually <laughs> honestly say. That's the plan anyway. Perfect. Put on the guard. 
So there we go. Um, practice on the cards for Gary Anderson. Certainly seemed like he'd been on the board ahead of the World Championship, but hopefully he can carry that on now that the new season is upon us. Um, another thing that has to be said with Gary Anderson is World Championship results. In that game against Madders Rasma, you could see the fire in the belly was there. That first set was vintage Gary Anderson, really. And if he can produce that sort of standard, then there's no reason why he can't get back to the top. It was disappointing to see him lose out to Chris Dobie in the third round, but Dobie played some excellent stuff throughout the whole tournament and deserved his win. Now, Anderson, I've said fire in the belly earlier, that was something that was very apparent in that Chris Dobie game. And I think if people start writing him off, people start doubting Gary Anderson, then that's the sort of motivation he needs to get back to top form. We'll see in the coming months whether Gary can get back into some sort of form. I think the top 16 is unlikely, which is where he'd need to be to be competing automatically at the likes of the match play in the World Grand Prix. He'll likely be coming through those Pro Tour qualifiers, but certainly the game is there. We look forward to seeing how Gary gets on in the opening few months and hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll see him at these big events.